Hello everybody, we are currently on an island that is totally just a blanket. And here we find the wreck of the RMS Mystical. Run aground. The auxiliary boom swung out. The anchor chain's still there, rusting cargo hatches. One of the booms, ha booms has uh, fallen off into the water due to rough weather. It looks like some of the davits from this deck house are gone. The mast has fallen over onto the shore. It looks like the waves have battered up the side of it. And it's breaking apart here. This also gives an insight to how I build my ships. I put a bunch of yellow frames in there, which means that some of them might be fragile when I run out of parts, and um, also gives you an idea why I don't do yellow funnels that often. I only have one ship with yellow funnels, and that's the Spirit of Edward, which even that one I ended up going with this one later on. Anyway, continuing on, this part looks like it's going to fall any, mu any minute now. The bridge wing's curled up, and the wooden bridge has rotted away over the years. The deck is seen there, and the funnel's rusting and starting to bend. The main stairwell appears to have collapsed in, as well as part of the deck house itself, the superstructure. Looks like the, the side of the hull, the port side, has fallen over and broken apart into the water, and it looks like we see bits of the funnel here washed up and pushed around. The... Dining room skylight has bent, has fallen down into the lower areas. The gantry davits are still on this side, but none of the other davits are to be found. Most likely washed away by the shore or rotted away. Here we have this part, the split point. Parts of the ship are missing or falling apart as we speak. It's just sad to see all the ship falling into the waves. Another funnel was, was there, and I guess that's it right there, or what's left of it. But moving down under the water, below the shoreline, we find it. The stern section. Rows upon rows of davits, including the other set of gantry davits right there. We have a funnel, it seems. Lots and lots of davits, because this ship had a lot of davits. We see the docking bridge here. We see some debris around the stern section. There's the rudder down there. I didn't. I don't think I showcased that in my initial video, but I think I did a good job on that rudder. So here's the stern section. Part one of the davit seems to have fallen off, and one of the booms have washed up here. That's where. Here's where the docking bridge sat. We have bits of debris around here, including the aft mast, which seems to have fallen off. Funnel there, that seems to be the aftmost funnel, which had a little bit of an outlet there that you could attach a rope on for party decorations, like on a maiden voyage or a special voyage. Cargo hatch is still there and the engine room entrance there. Although, it does appear that the engine has been destroyed. I think that's a bit of it sticking out right there. And here, you see the true extent of the damage that happened when it sank. Bits of the hull have been ripped open. I think that might be an uptake casing right there. I forgot to mention in my video that this model does split. It had a split point. Uh, I forgot to show it. I was going to do a part two to it, but I felt 15 second video of just me breaking a ship in half just wasn't that great. So instead I bring you the wreck. Moving over here, we can see some more of the damage. Zoom in on that destroyed engine there. Bit of the promenade left. I think that's another bit of it down there. More debris from the superstructure, it seems. Probably 
pole plating from the superstructure. Just ripping off there. It's just a shame to see what was once a beautiful ocean liner in such ruins. Bent funnel over there. Such a shame. And I guess that's going to be all for the wreck. Maybe we'll do another expedition. Who knows?